Hi everyone, Bob from the Bob and Ramon Show here again. This time, very short video, and this time unusually to promote something. Some of you may have already spotted that some of my guitars were recently featured in a really fantastic article in the Guitar Magazine, which is also online at guitar.com. And I just wanted to make sure that if you were interested, you knew about it so you could see it and have a look. The article was written by my good friend Michael Watts, who is an award-winning acoustic guitarist. He specialises in dadgad tunings and those wonderful ambient drones and things like that. Fabulous guitar player. And he was the writer. And the photography was done by a wonderful lady called Eleanor Jane, who does most of the photography for guitar.com. And she's really got the knack of photographing guitars. So, you know, I've got some nice guitars, but she has made them look a billion dollars. They look fantastic. So I hope that you're interested enough to have a look at this feature. Um, you can access it various ways. In the old school way, you can access it via hard copy, by buying a copy of the magazine, although I think that's quite difficult these days to actually find a shop that sells magazines. Um, and taking out a subscription may be too late because you might end up getting the May issue, whereas you're looking for the April issue. But you can certainly see it on guitar.com. Uh, I see it as well through uh, an app called Readly, which is a subscription service that allows you to access hundreds of different magazines and newspapers and things like that. Uh, and I'll put the links for all these things up on the screen as I'm talking. Um, but anyway, once again, do have a look. Hope you enjoy it. It's Bob's Guitar Collection, featured in The Guitar Magazine and Guitar.com. Uh, meanwhile, Ramon and I are busy on new content. We're still a bit bruised from the last shooting and editing session because we really overdid it on the gear and editing was a horror show. Um, so we're trying to simplify things and make things look a bit better. Not least, thank you for your comments about the lighting. You are, of course, completely right. So we're going to do something about that. Um, hopefully we're gradually, you know, an old dog and new tricks, but we're going to get better as we go on. Anyway, enough of me for today. Once again, hope you enjoy the feature in Guitar Magazine and see you again very soon. Cheers.